where to buy fish for your aquaponic system. Where to buy the fish for your aquaponic system will very much depend on what fish you're going to have in your aquaponic system. So first off I'm going to say it's freshwater. This is a freshwater aquaponic system. You don't have saltwater or marine, also known as marine aquaponics, doesn't happen because you know nothing really grows in salt water. So it's freshwater so you need to be thinking freshwater fish. So with this the first question you're asking is how big is the system that I'm wanting to be? This is just a little barrel aquaponic system. You can see there's a 200 litre barrel down the bottom that has goldfish in it. And then I've got my grow beds up here. And the fish are providing all of the fertilizer for the grow bed, so for the veggies. And the veggies are filtering the water for the fish. Nice little harmonious ecosystem happening here. I can only have a few goldfish in here, especially when you buy them small and they grow bigger, right? We can only hold a certain number of goldfish in here and the best way of identifying how many how many you can have because it will depend on what fish you're putting in there is to ask an aquarium store so any place that you can buy fish from an aquarium store or a pet store they should be able to tell you how many fish of that particular type of fish that you're wanting will live together and remember not all fish get along well together how many fish you'll be able to keep in for instance this 200 litre drum goldfish you're not going to get a whole lot of them in a little drum system in a little barrel aquaponic system like this i think i've got about 10 or 12 in here but the, 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 they've really started to grow which means i'm getting more and more veggies because as the fish grow i get more and more nitrate fertilizer for the veggies and the veggies can really take off and grow but the particular goldfish i've got they're only likely to get about this big so the 200 liters maximum is perfect for them I've got another system out front where I've got guppies. Well, I can have several hundred of them because they're constantly breeding and guppies are about an inch long and they don't get any bigger than that. The size of your system will depend on how many fish that you're wanting to do. If, however, you're wanting to have a bigger aquaponic system, so not a small little barrel aquaponic system, just say a much bigger aquaponic system like I've got over there, you might be looking at fish that you can eat. So you, you can still put goldfish in there, but you're going to need a lot of goldfish, okay, for a larger aquaponic system. Just saying, it works really, really well, but you will need larger, or a different type of goldfish. For instance, some of the comets, some of the comets grow really big and they go really well in an aquaponic system. But perhaps you're someone who wants to eat your fish. So maybe, you know, each to their own on that front. What fish you can have that you can eat will depend on where you live. So I live in Australia and tilapia, which is the most common fish that is used within aquaponics, tilapia is illegal in Australia, even though it is actually still here because people in the pet industry have bought it over and then released it into the wild, which is really bad for our ecosystem. And they did the same carp, which is another form of tilapia. So for us, totally illegal, can't have that. But maybe where you live, tilapia is one of the most sought after fish. It's, it's native to your area. If tilapia is your fish and you like eating them, you're in luck. They breed in your aquaponic system. So once you have some of them, you will have a never ending supply of tilapia. You will need to catch those little fry, so that, like those baby fish, and put them somewhere else because your fish will eat them. Just saying, you know, hey, fish are fish. But perhaps perch, you know, for us in Australia, silver perch is one of the most common fish. We have to be aware of how often do they breed. And a lot of the fish, that's one of the key things. How often do these fish breed? So your perches and your trouts and your catfishes, how often do they breed? So the way to find out is you need to be, you need to, this is where Google is really, really helpful. You Google the name of the fish, so in a, just say I'm going to say silver perch. So be specific, don't just say perch, say the type of perch. So for me, I would say silver perch, uh, uh, I mean Queensland, Queensland <laughs> hatchery. The word hatchery is where they, well, hatchery is where they breed fish, grow them up to being able to then sell them. Generally, it's selling them on a commercial level 
to large aquaculture farms. That is one of the best places. They've now started to sell them smell small, smell, sell smaller numbers to people in aquaponics because aquaponics is really starting to kick off in Australia. So that's how I can identify which fish I can have by putting in, the, in Google the name of the fish, so silver perch, my state, and then hatchery. And I can identify what hatcheries are local. Getting local is best because that means they're more acclimatized to the temperature of wherever you're living. Now just say I'm living in Queensland and I want a fish that I can have any type of Australian fish, but it is always good because, you know, for instance, trout in Queensland is not a good idea. Queensland is subtropical. Trout needs cold water, really, really cold, like mountain cold. Trout won't grow here unless I have them in an insulated, air-conditioned environment, <laughs> which I'm not going to do, but then vice versa. If I'm in Melbourne and I'm wanting to grow barramundi, which I think is actually illegal unless it's commercial, but I'm not sure on that. Um, you can't really grow barramundi because it needs really hot weather and Melbourne's rather cold, even though it does have hot spells. So to find out what type of fish I can have in my area is you can go to your local, local government or the state websites to identify. They all have some type of fisheries section that you can Google and that will be able to tell you what fish are native to your area. If you go for fish that are not native to your area, they're going to have trouble with the temperature. Temperatures always fluctuate as the weather extremes and everything like that happens in, in the world. But if they're local and what you're searching for is local to your area, they're going to grow a lot healthier and a lot quicker and better rather than if we're growing something that's not native to our area. So where do I get my fish from in a very long-winded way of doing that? A few goldfishes. Remember, fresh water. Any type of aquarium shop will do the trick. You're not going to be getting a whole lot of them. A hatchery is good for food fish. Look, I can go to my local aquarium and buy silver perch, but they're like 20 bucks each, depending on the size. Whereas if I get them from a hatchery, they're about a dollar each at that size. But they're small and they will, they will grow. And the hatchery will often throughout the year sell them at various sizes. The bigger they are, the more expensive they are. So when you're looking to buy food fish and you're looking to buy more than just one or two, because I have you know a couple of silver perch inside and other stuff like that. If you, when you're looking to buy quite a few fish, so generally there's a minimum of 50 or even 100 fish for hatcheries, but that could vary depending on state and country. Hatchery, that is the word that you're wanting to type in to try to find where can I get bulk amount of fry Fry is what we call baby fish. Okay, so when you want a bulk amount of fry, a hatchery is where you're wanting to look. And the best way is to Google, or if you've got any local aquaponics groups, to be able to ask them, I live in this state, does anybody know any hatcheries that sell this? That is another way of doing it. But pretty much all hatcheries these days do have a website and tell you how much their products are and when they are spawning. It's such a shame that the Australian fish won't spawn in captivity. Hmm, so I can't get them spawning in my fish tank. There you go.